All right, everybody, welcome to another miniature unboxing, and this is the WizKids 4D Settings War Machines the Ballista. And these came out in December of 2020. And I actually, I wasn't keeping track of, you know, WizKids and all their stuff because I've been so focused with Pathfinder Battles. But when I saw these, I was like, well, this is actually really cool. Uh, I believe this is about 40 bucks on Amazon with uh, free shipping when you got Prime. And this looks like a really good set. Uh, they've got three other war machines. They've, they've got uh, not only the Ballista, but I'm going to pull this up really quick on Mini's Gallery. It looks like they've got uh, the Trebuchet. I've already got that. I've already made a video for that. Uh, there's a Catapult coming out at the end of December. Should be out. And a Battering Ram. So there's a bunch of war machines. Man, WizKids is on a roll, man. They must have a huge warehouse now that they just build and make all this stuff. I mean, it's just ridiculous. The amount of content that they're putting out. So, All right, so here we are. Here's everything. I keep the boxes. Oh, nice little background. Look at that. You could do it. Man, it's got the 40s on it. Bah, bah. I wouldn't keep it, but I, I'm going to keep a box. Ooh, well, you, could, you could get... You could uh, have a good time sniffing that. So let's see what we got here. Let's see if it's taped up. All this other stuff. It looks like it's going to come apart. Yeah. Uh, like I said, it's like 30 40 bucks. doesn't look like there's a lot to this like there is the other ones. Uh, but, yeah, this looks, uh, this looks really good so far. I mean, just from looking at it first glance. Really cool looking ballista. So let's just get right to the right to the meat of it. I'm sure this is going to have to be put together, yeah, possibly. I'm, I'm not too sure. I'm not a an old ancient war machine expert, but uh, yeah, I think you're going to have to put this together. So let's why don't we just break out the the box and kind of take a look at it. So this is what it looks like. What it okay? This is what it looks like. So. All right, that's cool. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. So it looks like it sits on this, this piece here. And, uh, okay, well, there you go. It just fits just like that. Kind of like that. So now it kind of pivots. You get your, yeah, elevation that way. Yeah, really nice detail on this. So let me, uh, Kind of focus a little bit better just so we can see the the detail so yeah look at that that looks so good holy cow wow oh it's even loaded loaded with a spear i remember i don't know if you guys have ever seen the gladiator i'm sure you have but uh remember that guy that that barbarian that northman got hit by that and just shot him back like 20 foot and stuck him to a tree yeah, i remember that scene that was that was pretty cool has the the handles that tighten up tighten it up and there's the handles to kind of steer it yeah this looks really good so yeah here's a here's the thing that kind of locks it in and then this that male goes into the female and i know you guys are giggling like two year olds because i said male and female so let me let me take this apart i don't want to break it so it would have been nice if it was kind of put together already but yeah there you go not very it's kind of flimsy but yeah it looks like that is uh looks like it's put together now the ballistas i mean yeah look at that and that's pretty cool doesn't uh doesn't stay up but i mean you could always there you go yeah, look at that. Look, it looks good. It's awesome. Three pieces. I mean, it's still not too bad. It's, I mean, honestly. So, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Holy cow. Look at that ballista. That is just absolutely beautiful. And it's cool that they're doing a bunch of different war machines. Just not, you know, just not this. So, yeah, here's the, uh, here's the pile of ballista bolts. You know, you just kind of set that on the ground. You know, and this would look amazing with one of the Pathfinder flip mats or the D&D, &D, you know, flip mats reincarnated. 
Yeah, that, this is awesome. It would look so good on like on like one of the forest uh, ones. So, not sh too sure what this is. This is, and it looks like this roll. It, it would roll. You know, I'm I'm not too sure. So this is this is pretty nice though. What is this? Let me know in the comment section down below. But I'm not too sure. But there's two of them. So there is a. It's either a. As you can see here, it's either a mantlet or a cheval de frise. I'm sorry, I don't speak French, so <laughs> so it's one of those two. But yeah, I mean, I, I would imagine that wouldn't this be like a barrier to where you would just kind of put it down and hold it up, and then you have your bear. Wouldn't that be a barrier? I would imagine because you could wheel these around, right? I mean, I, I could swore the Romans used these things and they would kind of wheel them around and then they would prop them up. That's, that's what I think. So if I'm wrong on that, please, folks, let me know in the comments section. But I think that's a barrier. But that's just my, that's my uh, humble opinion. I'm not a military expert or anything like that. So, so here is the, uh, here's uh, the engineer that's, basically taking charge here what <laughs> nice detail there i like the leather apron and stuff and the big hammer looks good nice dry brush and he actually has a a beard with a mustache i mean it's not it doesn't look like he's like ball gagged or anything <laughs> good looking me <laughs> oh some of those pathfinder battles minis with mustaches are just absolutely terrible so, so he, yeah, here's a, yeah, well, we all know what these are. So, you know, these are for blocking and barriers and stuff as well. There's actually quite a few of these in other sets. Just imagine stepping on this in the middle of the night. You know, your young kid plays with this stuff and forgets to clean it up, and then you step on this. Oh, that would totally be a call trap. They should have labeled it as a call trap. So, but, yeah, I mean, it, a beautiful set. I mean, there's not a lot to it. You know, there's a, a total of two, four, five, six, seven, seven pieces. Uh, you know, and I don't know what the mantlets are and the Chevelle de Frises. I'm saying that wrong, I'm sure. But yeah, look, it does. It, let me let me focus this a little bit more. Sorry, everybody. Yeah, there you go. It is a barrier. So I figured they would, you know, the Romans used to wheel these around and then put it down and, you know, put a bunch of rocks on it. I remember that. So... Yeah, but I just don't know which one it is, a Mantlets or Chevelle. I, I have no clue. I know what the group Chevelle is, but, uh, yeah. But there you go. Yeah, not a lot of pieces, though. I mean, total seven, seven, eight, nine pieces, but definitely a, a great set. Uh, I think the price is a little bit high. I think it was like 40 bucks, you know. But it was free shipping from Amazon, so good set. I mean, definitely. I mean, it, it's definitely impressive to put these down on, on, a, on a beautiful flip mat or a map of your choice or whatever. So, But there you go, everybody. That is the Ballista set from the WizKids 4D settings. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comment section. Please feel free to flame me and blast me for pronouncing all that stuff wrong and not knowing what it was and... Uh, yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, thanks again for joining me on my uh, miniature quest. And uh, yeah, thumbs up the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. So until next time, happy gaming and stay safe. Bye for now.